In this video we'll explore the process of creating a non-player character and giving them dialogue so players can interact using text with the character. We'll not need to do any scripting in this video so don't worry if you aren't very good with code. First go to Avatar, Rig Builder, I'm going to go with R15 Masculine Block Avatar, go with what you'd like. You can customise the rig however you'd like by finding the model in the Explorer under View. Explorer. I'll also open up the properties in the output, although we won't need the output actually in this video, so I will remove it because we aren't going to be doing any programming. So, as you can see, I've got the rig here. Let me just put him on the floor. And if I open it up, we can customize it. So, to customize it, you can change the properties of each individual part. Okay, so I got that wrong. Uh, I'm a bit outdated with this stuff. What you want to do to change the body colors is go under the rig and find the body colors. You can't miss it. It's the first thing under there. And then you can change all the colors in here. So as I've just edited all that out, but basically what I did was I manually went and changed all these parts, but that doesn't actually save. So when you run the game, I think the NPC just goes back to being gray. You actually need to change the body colors here. So make sure you do that and you don't change the parts I did get that wrong I apologize here we go so I've just created a little rig here if you want the rig to represent your own or another player's avatar then you may be better off selecting mesh rig where you will then be able to change the mesh of the rig now inside of the head we're going to add a dialogue we are adding this to the head because that's the most logical place for a character to speak from you wouldn't go up to someone and they would start speaking out their arm they're gonna speak out of their, well, their mouth which is on the head and obviously there, there is no mouth part, it's just a, a sort of a decal for the face. So we're going to add the dialogue to the head. Now let's click this dialogue and go to properties. You can customize, let me open this up a bit. You can customize the conversation distance, which is sort of how far away you have to be from the player. I believe in studs um, before the conversation will cut off and stop. I'm going to leave that at 25. You can enable goodbye choice, which if enabled, um, it will give you a goodbye choice. So you can just say goodbye and walk away from the conversation. You can also set the initial prompt and a goodbye dialogue. The goodbye dialogue will be just goodbye. I'm going to set the initial prompt to hello player. So the initial prompt is the sort of text that will appear when you go up to the player. We also have two other interesting options purpose and tone so purpose at the minute is on help but we can set it to quest or shop that is basically the icon that appears so if we have it as help and hit play you see we can go up to the character we can click their question mark it says hello player if we change this to quest we'll get a different icon it's just an exclamation mark and if we change it to shop it will be like a dollar sign there you go now i'll just leave that as help Neutral, we noticed that when we went up to it, it was blue on the left hand side. If we change this to friendly, it will go to green, as you can see. And if we change it to enemy and hit play, you see it goes red. So I'll leave this as neutral and help because they are the default. To add responses, go to the dialogue item in the Explorer and add a dialogue choice as a child. The user dialogue is what the player will say to the NPC and the response dialogue is what the NPC will say in response to the player. I'll set the user dialogue to hi NPC, how are you? And I'll set the response dialogue to I am good thanks, yourself. Now for us to test, you see we can go up, click this, it'll say hello player, I can say goodbye and walk away or when, once this is um, reset I can go up say hello player I can say hi NPC how are you it says I'm good thanks yourself and the conversation will stop to create a full conversation keep adding dialogue choice objects as a child of the previous dialogue choice what I mean by this is if I wanted to now add response to when he asks how we are I'm going to add or what I'll do is just duplicate this dialogue choice and put it inside of the previous one so we get a little chain of choices here. I'll finish this conversation with some options. It makes sense to have multiple responses here. Maybe I could have an option for good thanks, okay thanks, or maybe even I'm not feeling very well. To do this, add more dialogue choices to the dialogue, but not as children of each other. 
So one dialogue can have multiple dialogue choice objects. I'll implement these options now. So we start by asking how they are, which is this dialogue choice here. And then they respond and they ask back, I'm good, thanks, yourself. So after they've asked us that, we want another dialogue choice. So this one, I'll say user dialogue will be, uh, I am good, thanks. I'll just put good, thanks. And then I'll put the response says, that's great to hear. Now I'm going to duplicate this dialogue choice and notice how we have two as children of another. So this means we're going to get two options. If we put these as children of each other, you'll see that in a minute when we test it, you have to keep clicking them to get to the next one. So if I tested this now, let me change this second dialogue choice I've just made to OK, thanks. And I'll change this to that's good to hear. Now if I put these inside of each other, you'll see when we hit play, if we go up to the NPC, hit the question mark, say hi NPC, how are you? I'm good thanks yourself. Now we only get good thanks. If I click that, then we get that's great to hear and then it says okay thanks, which we don't want. That's like following on from the previous. We want them both available at the same time. So we make them both a child of the previous one. I know it sounds confusing, but it really is quite simple. Hi NPC, how are you? I'm good thanks yourself. And now we get the two options. Okay thanks, good thanks and goodbye. Now I'm going to add one more. I'll make this one, uh, I am not feeling very well. And I'll say, oh no, hope you feel better soon. Now if we hit play, you see we can go up to the player, hit the question mark, hello player, hi NPC, how are you? I'm good thanks, yourself? Good thanks, I'm not feeling very well, okay thanks. So I'll say, I'm not feeling very well, oh no, hope you feel better soon. And that's the end of the conversation. And that's it. That is all there is to making NPC dialogue in Roblox. It's quite easy. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to keep updated with new videos we post. And goodbye.